He's now trying to judge if it will come out and. Yeah, I don't, I don't think there would be. It's already in the hazard. He's done nothing but trying to take his stance. There you go. They love it. Oh, they should. How about that? The 14. And for a birdie to remember. Oh, yes. Second shot of Lowry's is more difficult from here than Rich Beams from the rough. It's a difficult angle. He has to be absolutely perfect. And it is. Brilliant shot. Oh! It's not over yet. That's five points and suddenly Rich Beam's lead has been diminished to only three points. And Peter, he did not know uh, that that was Larry that held out at 15 until he walked up onto this green. <laughs> So he thinks he's three points in front. He's actually four. That was probably a good thing for his first uh, two shots here at 17. Let's make that nine. <laughs> and that is that. Fantastic. Eagle. So many times Eagles at 17 have clinched this event for Rich Bean. Played. Just fantastic golf on this last day. And what, all of a sudden uh, they were making their eagles, and of course we've had two double eagles in the history of the international. One of them was here by Jim Gallagher. Steve Lowry would, uh, could use that. And showing the six on, a pretty good hit with the six on up the hill, Peter. Well, you'd rather make an aggressive swing under this circumstance. Oh. <laughs> a hole out for an eagle at 15 and another but more significantly a double eagle eight points unbelievable absolutely incredible 204 yards, a six iron. How about that, Kristen, Lauren, Brian, how about that shot? <laughs> He's one point behind. Man, is this whole thing good to be. <laughs> well, you wonder what Rich Beam thinks of that roar. Does he think it's a tap-in for an eagle? Probably. Not wasting any time here. Ooh. Side door. But Lowry can beat him with a birdie. He's in with a phenomenal round of 19 points. Only one point off the single day record in tournament history. Yeah, you just can't go out and play any better than he played today. I mean, what an outstanding round. And you know, he knows he did it as good as he can do it. And uh, to just stand there and you know, he had the nerves really coming out to control himself right now is very difficult to do. And Fortunately for him, he hasn't got to hit any more shots now. And his reaction right here has nothing to do with his play. This has to do with what did Lowry do? This can't be true. This is unbelievable. I mean, good news is I didn't lose it, but I don't know if I'm going to win it. <laughs> well, no, you, you put up three fingers in the 18th fairway for me. You and your caddy, Bill Hine, who did a great job today. Yeah. Uh, w when I give you two fingers, how, how did that feel? That has to be amazing. Um, a little sunken feeling, I guess, but uh, you know, like I said, I mean, like I said yesterday, I can't control what anybody else does. I can just, you know, I mean, anything can happen, especially in this format. I mean, I roll on that beautiful putt on 17 to get up again by nine, and all of a sudden he hoops it for eight points. So there, I mean, what a, well, this is awesome. I mean, perspective on this is like, this is crazy. And Peter, he's got to get this past the hole where he has it has a chance, doesn't he? I think he feels like he can carry this flag high. Yes. Is it going in, Peter? I don't think it's going in. But it's pretty oh! good. That's all he has for the win. It's amazing. You know what Beam's saying right now? He's going to make it. Absolute rapturous applause here for Steve Lowry. These folks have been watching. His score soar on that leaderboard. Well, negate a little bit of that. 
Well, the beam can even stand the watch. Well, there's no reason to be short here. Just stand there and make a good, solid stroke. One putt for victory. Yeah. Oh. Hung it on the lip. And Peter was right. The ball just did not move to the right. Gosh, what, a, what an effort. You know, it's hard to know who to feel sorry for in this instance, Jim. I mean, Lowry did everything he could do. Rich had a great day. David, take it away. Thanks again, Jimmy. Rich, obviously a very emotional moment. That was one heck of an afternoon. It was out of your control. You were never going to lose it. Somebody else might have won it, but it's your second victory. Yeah, I, I can't even talk right now. <laughs> This is awesome. I'm just so happy. El Paso Country Club guys in the men's grill run up the tab. We're going to have some fun next week. All right. Well, I bet they'll have a good night, and so will you. Thanks again for a great show. Back up to 18. Well, here I am with Steve Lowry. And Steve, you know, going into the rain delay, you had to figure, what have I got to do? And then you come out and you put on one of the finest displays of golf. I mean, did you really have it in your mind's eye that you could do that? You know, I really did, and I just wanted to play aggressive and play to win all the way to the house. I was just trying to, you know, make birdies and, and just play as aggressive as I could all the way. And, uh, you know, I was proud of myself. I did do that. I played, uh, you know, I made a run for it. And, uh, you know, I can't be disappointed because I made double eagle air on 17. But, uh, you know, I just played really good all day. Well, an er a, a, a eagle, a double eagle, and a birdie coming down the stretch, you've got to be proud of that. Yeah, I was, I was really, you know, pleased with all that. You know, I, I hit the, a good shot out of the water on 14. I hit a good shot on 13. And then, you know, hold two shots coming in. So, you know, I'm really, really pleased with the way that, you know, that played coming down the stretch. Well, go sign your card. Congratulations. Let's go back up to 18.